bullshit. I'm just a girl from Homer. Oh my god, this is so great to see all of you here. It really is. And the guy on the bike with the great flag, I love you too. I absolutely do. You know, uh, here in Alaska, we've been colonized for quite a while. And, and, and we, we get reminded by the KGO peers and by the, uh, the lobbyist that's occupying Juno's governor's mansion right now. You know, he, he was a Conoco Phillips lobbyist, right? Yeah. Petro Yeah, uh, listen, I don't like to call people whores because I have a lot of respect for the hardworking sex workers. And I think that they work a whole lot harder and more honestly for their money than our politicians in many respects. So, so we're reminded pretty often, you know, Alaska, you, you got to suck it up, grab your ankles, and spend that permanent fund because you know what? 90% of what we've got comes from oil. So you better just, you know, suck it up. Love them. You know what? isn't said enough is that they drive on roads, they fly into airports, they use ports that are all paid for with our money. Yeah. They have yeah. uh, completely <laughs> privatized the profits and socialized the risk. And I think we're kind of sick of it here. I actually think that's why, not to bring up her name too much, but I think that's part of the reason Sarah Palin was elected, was because people were sick of the corporate greed, the corrupt bastards club, people going to trials over and over, Bill Allen, you know, uh, the head of ConocoPhillips, Jim Bowles, calling it in, telling him what to do. People were sick of that. And we're told, you know, no, you just got to grab it. Just suck it up. And then we're tired of it. So for all of us that are here, for all the different reasons, you know, we need to find our shared values in this state. They work really, you know, honestly, I was counting today. I was talking to Scott McAdams driving down here. And I said, you know, there's more Subarus in this state than Democrats. <laughs> there are. Start counting. There's getting to be a whole lot of uh, no pebble stickers, though, aren't there? I like yeah. that. <laughs> so we have to find our shared values. There aren't enough of any one side. For us to be like, okay, that's it. You know, we'll just we'll just sit with our own. We've got to find the shared values, and I think the majority of us are tired of this. Whether we're Native Alaskan and we're tired of, of seeing corporations given more more consideration than tribes, that's offensive. It should be offensive to all of us. I'm not an Alaskan Native. I'm a Native Alaskan, or is it the other way around? So. Find our shared values, come together, not be this, afraid to talk to people. Hi, Sheila Southcrest. And, talk to your mom about it. and see what she thinks about it. And, and, to, and to fight back on this. Are gonna be here we really have to. And I think uh, my favorite acronym right now is SAFE. Save Alaska's future economy. Whether it's saying no to a governor who wants to give $2 billion back a year to oil companies who are breaking their own records and promising us nothing. In fact, 54% of the new hires on the North Slope right now are out-of-staters. That's not us. So how many people trust somebody to do, to give them, a, how many of you pay somebody first, give them the money in the hopes that maybe they will drill more? Instead of saying, drill more and then we'll give you the money. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you work for an oil company and not the people of Alaska. So this isn't just about big government. This is about that big government has become a puppet to the corporations, and we're tired of it. That's what it's really about at the end of the day. So sign up. Make sure you're involved next Saturday. I understand there's another rally here, and uh, it's going to be getting colder. And you know what? I'm okay with that. We'll see you here. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for coming. This is still going on. We're shutting off the open mic for a little bit uh, to give Ted right over here an opportunity to do the uh, open forum philosophical political discussion. Uh, I'll probably play some like light music for a little bit, and we'll be back uh, in a little while with uh, more opportunity to say your piece. In the meantime, talk to each other, meet each other, find out what you care about, because all of us are different. This is not a top-down, tiny little... You know, push. This is a leaderless movement. It's it's something happening globally, and you are part of it because you are here. 